into the first turn. All in, and away they go. And very slow to begin, eminent authority has to be rousted away from the stalls by Jamie Spencer. Almost midnight drops right out the back of the field early, and so too Harpo marks as they go towards this turn. And James Dawn has done really well on gel mood, broke from stall nine, and he's only three wide going into the turn, and he does have the lead. Pythian towards the inside, dashing Willoughby is right up there, Barbados around the outside. He was four deep around the turn. Also very wide is Nayef Road, then Nate the Great just taken back off the speed, and there then being followed by the Max We Can, and then Eminent Authority, who has never travelled a yard in the early stages for Jamie Spencer, racing on the inside of Moonlight Spirit. A break then of a couple of lengths back to West Australia, who's racing alongside his stable mate Norway as they make the run down the hill and on inside the final mile and a half with uh, at the back of the field almost midnight the back marker and last but one is Harpo Marks. So they make the run down towards Swinley Bottom and it's now Nayef Road and Andrea Atzini who rode the great Stradivarius to win this race two years ago and he's out in front now by a length and a half to Barbados on the outside racing in second. Dashing Willoughby is the horse who's got the big white noseband on the inside rail. He's in third. Jal Mood is in fourth position, then the yellow silks of, on the inside, Pythian who's racing in fifth, Nate the Great, Holly Doyle in sixth, then the Max We Can is in seventh, they go towards a halfway point, then Moonlight Spirit who's racing just in advance of Eminent Authority, then towards the outside is Western Australia, Western Australia is still being followed by his stablemate Norway, and then Harpo Marks and still the back marker is almost midnight, and now they face up to the daunting hill which will bring them back towards home. They have six furlongs to go in the Queen's Vars and still it is Nayef Road bidding to give trainer Mark Johnston his eighth win in the race. Barbados on the outside for Aidan O'Brien looking for his seventh victory in the Queen's Vars. Back in third is Dashing Willoughby and in fourth Jal Mood who's travelled really well to this point. Python is next followed by Nate the Great and then the Max We Can. Then towards the outside is Moonlight Spirit and then Eminent Authority who really has not had a going day. West Australia has been ridden. Norway is a long way back. He's ten lengths off the lead. He's just been overtaken by almost midnight and still the back marker is Harpo Marks. They make the turn. Three furlongs to go in the Queen's Vars. This is where the stamina really has to kick in. On the inside, Nayef Road confronted by Barbados. Down the outside, Dashing Willoughby still has every chance. Pythian now moves on into fourth. On that one's outside is Moonlight Spirit as they race on now inside the final furlong in the centre, it's Barbados and Wayne Lawton who now take the lead off. Dashing Willoughby and Ashim Murphy towards the near side, just wandering, but now has come and claimed the lead to Barbados in second. Nayef Road is back in third. Nothing is closing from off the pace. They've got 100 yards to go. Dashing Willoughby drifting into the centre of the course, but Dashing Willoughby has taken the Queen's Vars to Barbados. Nayef Road followed then by Moonlight Spirit in fourth, and eminent authority never ever went to yard and eventually picked up the bit in the home straight, he did get fifth place. Dashing Willoughby, despite wandering under pressure to the centre of the course, has won for Andrew Boulding and for Sheen Murphy, has beaten onto the far side Barbados, who's done best of the four runners for Aidan O'Brien.